All right, what's up, y'all? So I have an issue that I wanted to bring, um, just to bring up some, uh, I guess, some dialogue about it. So I had this guy that's been working for me for about two years. He was on contractor status, and recently I decided, well, he asked, actually, um, to go on employment status. He wanted to be full-time. He wanted to be more involved with the process. He's done a lot of work for me um, across the country. So we decided to go ahead and let him um, work in our project management division <clears throat> so the guy came in and after about three or four days he trained um, it takes about two days to get your training out of the way um, he abandoned the job now uh, tried to find out exactly what was um, going on and basically what it what it boils down to be is um, this is a pro-black organization right so I always say we should be free, or we are free, to talk about um, our blackness and black pride and building of the black community without being or, or maligning any other group, right? So that's basically what it is. This guy is black, African-American, and he's, um, his fiance is Caucasian, and he was very uncomfortable with, um, I guess, all of the you know the, the people in the in the building talking about you know building a black community black business you know that kind of stuff and it just set me to kind of think about um i guess the culture of the business and the question that i'm bringing to you guys is um when you have a black owned business and, and we're not just black owned we are proponents of other black businesses we help them we're like an incubation center we train we have classes and then we actually set up businesses for individuals from business plan to the funding to lease negotiation to going out to setting up businesses for individuals. Um, so we're like, you know, black business on steroids or black business squared, right? Um, so the question is, when we have a black business or when any of us are running black businesses, should black pride exist in our businesses or should our businesses just be operating with, with, with neutrality and no type of culture or anything underlying in the business. You know, a lot of people um, don't know, for example, like say major corporations or larger businesses out there, you don't know their political affiliations or how they feel personally about certain things, their religious practices, that kind of stuff. And sometimes when that stuff comes out, it causes, I guess, damage to the business or, or, or some people become even more um, loyal to the business, whether as customers or staff. So is that something, and this is the first time it ever happened um, with us uh, due to being um, an organization that is heavily focused on building the black community. Um, that someone detached themselves because of that and they were actually black. So do you think that that is something that should be removed or uh, not just removed but not spoken of or, or, or kept off of the table in the culture of your business? Sound off for me. I'd love to hear your feedback on this.